Good morning! It's Melody Lane! No, it's not morning. I missed it. I just recorded yesterday's vlog video or the last vlog video. So I'm wearing the same thing. I look the same. Change the background just a little bit. So today is going to be a haul video. And disclaimer, not all of it is mine. George bought some of it, but we share everything. So I'm showing some of his too. He doesn't know it. He's not home. He's out shopping. Michael's, Joanne's. Yeah, he went without me because I said I have to do some videos. I really need to do them. So he's like, okay. So him and Ken are out shopping without me. And I know they'll come back with a lot because I'm not there to say we really don't need that or I have that already. Okay, I got some things from Cricut. Close to my heart, Michael's Simon Says Stamps, Amazon. I think that's it, I don't remember. Some of this might be in two videos just because there's so much. So I'm gonna get through it, see what time it is. Maybe go to the next one. All right, let's start with some of the things George bought. Stickles and more stickles. These are new colors of stickles and I just bought this one at a scrapbooking store when I went to Florida. Yeah, do you guys remember I went there? I have that haul too. So I'm gonna show you what's in there. I think he got these from Simon Says Stamps. Washi tape, I got this from Amazon. If you are in my craft hoarders group, there's a craft hoarders group on Facebook. Not a page, a group. Cause there is a page, but that's not mine. I'm not sure whose that is. I'm in a craft hoarders group. I shared this was only $3. Free shipping, $3, 10 rolls of washi tape. Now they are thin rolls. They are cool. This is the second one I bought. And then I also bought this one cause it was on deal. These are 10 rolls. I bought a couple of these. I'm gonna put them in some giveaways. And yesterday at Michael's, me and Ken went to Michael's without George. And these were on clearance. These are paint pens and they're glitter paint pens and they're Sharpies. And look how pretty. We bought these to use at our crop in October called Crop To It. There's a video on that also if you're interested. We have some make and take things. I'm not gonna share what it is yet. There's some paint pens involved. If you guys uh, watch my videos from Cha, I think they're on my craft channel, from CHA 2015, I recorded Diane who created Dilusions paints and I fell in love with them. They have been hard to get. I finally got these from Simon Says Stamps and I'll put a link below. You can buy them singly or you can buy the whole group of them together. And George bought these. I'm gonna use them as if I bought them. So if I run out, I'll just replace it one at a time. So we got black marble. It's just black. You've never seen these paints. I will be doing a video on these. I can't wait to do them. I have to finish some other projects first. Melted chocolate, oh, that's brown. Squeezed orange. Uh, guess what color that is? White linen, lemon zest, my favorite one, crushed grape. Pretty. Love this one too. I love this one too. Fresh lime. Bubblegum pink. Post box red, which is red, but it's more of an orange red. Not a cool red, it's a warm red. Vibrant turquoise. Love this one too. Cut grass. Green. London blue. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description of the video below. And I got some sprays. I got these from Michaels, I think last week. They were 40% off, I think. I think, I can't remember how much it was. But I got some sprays that match those paints. I also got her book. She made this book. She does like journal pages. Every page in here she actually created and painted with paint, not on the computer with her paints and her spray dyes and she has stamps and all kinds of things. So I got this book from She Scrapbooks, the scrapbooking store I went to in the villages in Florida. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to start using this stuff. Let me show you what else I got from the scrapbook store. Some stencils. And I also plan on making my own stencils with Design Space. I did make a few and shared them with some of the people who support me on Patreon. I actually cut them, I just made files. And I bought some watercolor paper. This is heavyweight paper. This is also by Ranger. I bought this stencil. 
with the arrows. I thought that was so cute. This dilution stencil and a smaller dilution stencil. Watch that video. You'll see how she uses all these stencils. It's so much fun. And I got this bridal tinsel embossing powder. Is that pretty? It's like iridescent. I can't wait to use it. I got some more sprays. I think I got two of these now. This one might be in a giveaway. And this one's Funky Fuchsia, After Midnight, and Polish Jade. And then I got some more stickles. Neon Flamingo, this is Cool Mint, and Peacock. I don't know if I have Peacock or not. It's so pretty. And you can get all those at Simon Says Stamps too. Put a link in the description. And if you purchase anything from any of the links that I share, most of them, not all of them, from some of them, I do get a small commission from what you buy. Okay, so let me show you what I got from Amazon. This huge thing this came in a big box. Did you see it? There's what it is. It is a, it's an 18 by 24 inch portfolio. It has 24 pages inside of clear pages. And I got this to put vinyl in. I did see somebody's blog post. I don't know who it was. It's not someone I normally follow. I just saw a link on Facebook. Use this to put her vinyl in and other things. You can put your vinyl in here. Let me open it up. Okay, here it is. Opened up. And it's huge. That's what she said. So it has these pages. Boy, you can make a really big scrapbook with this. <laughs> that would be fun but they have different sizes. You can put the different vinyl in here. You could put tabs on them. That's what she showed in her blog. Put little tab things on for iron-on vinyl, for regular vinyl, indoor vinyl, outdoor vinyl. If you wanna do it by brand, you wanna do it by color, you can do it any way you want. It will hold up to 24 inch vinyl. I'm gonna try my new We Are Memory Keepers fuse on it. See if I can make pockets, because then I could store two places for 12 by 12 vinyl, or make smaller pockets for other things, or for scraps for vinyl. Yeah, I do need a place for my scraps. You could just use this for scraps, or get a smaller book for scraps. They have other books, that's a good idea. I think I might do that. Get another book just for scraps alone, because they would be smaller, it doesn't need to be so big. But this is great to take to crops or whatever. If you're going to be using vinyl, you can just take it all right here and you have it all ready. I'll put a link to that in the description where I got that on Amazon. And I got this laminator. Everyone's doing the foil. This works great with the deco foil. So I'm going to try this instead of getting a mink going to try this one. You can get this at Simon Says Stamps or Amazon. I got the 12 inch wide one. On Amazon I think they have a 9 inch just in case I got the 12 inch. I didn't want to get the 9 inch and then think oh I needed the 12 inch. So I got the 12 inch. It's much cheaper than the mink machine. I think the only difference is this one takes longer to heat up. Okay and then I got a few things from Simon Says Stamps. I got some paper to try out different kinds of paper, different colors of paper, eight and a half by 11. So I've never used their paper. So I'm going to try out their paper and I'll let you know on my craft channel. Girls night stamp. Isn't she cute? I want to color these with my Shinhan markers. These are Simon Says exclusives you can only get from Simon Says. This one has tiny hearts. I don't know if you can tell, they're real tiny. See them? Here's another exclusive stamp set. I love that old car. Isn't that fun? And this dash line, it's like to make a road, but you could use it for other things. And the sun, another stencil. This is the Harlequin stencil. I wanna try out their inks. I'll let you know what I think. I got lavender, Audrey blue, fern, and orange peel. That's it for this haul. I have another haul in the next video I will be doing right after this one. And I got Tuesday morning. I got a lot of stuff from there. When I went to get my hair colored, Tuesday morning's right next door. I had to go in close to my heart and cricket. I got some new stuff I want to show you. But first, let me do another calendar page. I'm gonna to try to do these at the end of every video. He said try. March 12th, life is short. Try to French kiss every chance you get. 
and wear comfortable shoes. I agree with wear comfortable shoes. I wear comfortable shoes every day. I wear Crocs. I've worn them every day for years. I know, they're ugly. Some of them are ugly, some of them are cute. I have a purple pair, I have a cheetah pair, and I have, they're not all the same. I have different styles. I even have some that tie up in kind of like boots in the winter. And George and Ken have Croc boots, which are awesome. You just slip your foot in and you can go out in the snow. George also wears Crocs. He has Croc slippers. They are so comfortable and they're antibacterial. Your feet don't stink. <laughs> Right, they don't. But the part about French kissing every chance you get, I don't know if I should be telling people to French kiss every chance they get. Yes, with your husband or boyfriend, if you're of age, don't know what the age on that is, but don't, if guys are watching this, don't grab a girl and just start French kissing her. No, you have to know the person. Don't just grab somebody and start French kissing. You don't know where their mouths have been. That's my disclaimer, but wear comfortable shoes, okay. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.